I just got very depressed. I've been spinning bolts off for the last hour or so. Those are the thermostat outlet bolts. You spin those the wrong way and they snap right off, but I got them. But this job has come to a complete and 100% standstill because I just noticed that the thermostat housing, this hose here is leaking right there. The thermostat housing is attached to the block with three bolts over there. One, two, three. One, two, three. And two bolts behind the back of the water pump housing. One over there and one there. And to take them off, you don't just take off the water pump, which is kind of noisy-ish. I already spoke to my rebuilder. Doesn't sound the best, but that's the problem. Well, the problem is that you have to take off the water pump rear housing to get probably that one bolt that you barely see the head of, just the one or two flats. This one may come off. Looks like it interferes with this right here. But to get that rear housing off, you've got to take off the harmonic balancer and who knows what else. Oh man, this is depressing. I'm gonna timing cover here or something. This is very depressing. I'm not taking this whole freaking thing apart to change a $1 hose, which may not leak any worse. I made it through the desert. Long and hot climb. Oh man. I am not taking apart the whole front of the motor. This has to come off. It looks like, yeah, it's all cast in one piece. This does not have to come off. This doesn't come off. This comes off. Not the water pump here, but this. Oh man, maybe that's not so bad. I think, I think this is separate. I think this is separate. Yep, yeah. okay, not so bad. Oh my god, OMG. Oh, yeah, I like to use Hashem's name in vain. OMG. I think. ring in here probably but I think it stops here the casting ends there I don't have to take off this timing gear or timing chain cover probably gears this does not have to come off but this has to come off and this is not connected to this well maybe not so bad still more work what I did do was I fixed the door hinge the door was sagging for some reason the hinge pins are in really good shape considering they were never lubed all I did was loosen the three bolts, two from through the fender and one from through here. And then uh, I adjusted the striker ever so slightly. Bushing's still in decent shape, unlike the GMs. Now the door lines up perfectly and closes once I put some fluid film or wool wax on it. A lot better than it was. And I also took off this idler and took off the cap and the C-clip and it went flying, ended up way over there. Listen to this. So I can put some grease in here and quiet it down, but I'm going to have to buy a new one because this is not serviceable. You can grease it, but only to stop it, only to prevent it from making noise. Once it makes noise, the bearing is toasted. So I have to buy a new one of these. And then the O-ring, and then my buddy said he'll rebuild a water pump for me. That's an original Ford. I sent him the part number. He says the water pumps never go bad unless the bearings, the seal's bad. I said, no, it's noisy. It's noisy. The microphone's actually on my Bluetooth. So. But it's noisy. It's noisy. So, I guess the water pump comes off. The rear housing comes off, but it's not as bad as I thought. They don't make it integral with the timing cover. That's two separate pieces, this casting back here. And then I was noticing that this ground wire was toasted roasted. Look at this. 
you know what wires are. Wires are smoke just waiting to escape. So this ground wire melted. I don't know why, but I'll fix that. I don't know what it does or what it did, but <laughs> it wasn't doing very much. There's one over here and one over here. Maybe there's one on my 6.5 turbo diesel that I just brought back from Elgin, exit 286 off I-10, or 282 rather. So I've got my thermostat outlet off. I've got to take off the block. And to get the block off, I've got to take off more parts. Oh, I hate taking things into a million pieces. I've got so many things to do. But can't be driving it and pop that hose. And then what do you do? Have it serviced at a garage for a thousand bucks? Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, and I bought another vehicle. I actually bought it several months ago. Just went and picked it up. Not happy with it, but what can you do? Waited 35 years to get it. I'll show it to you later. It's too depressing. Sat outside for five years after being inside for 30. Okay, I'm depressed. I'm going to listen to the news, listen to somebody else's problems. This thing isn't focused. But maybe I'll pull off the alternator. I have my buddy rebuild them. He has an alternator, starter, caliper, and water pump rebuilding shop. Well, I'll fix her up. Just, you're only a loser when you quit, remember. Oh boy, what did I get into? But you got to fix these things. Better to fix it here than on the side of the road. It's not a Ford, you know. Bound on road. Mm-hmm.